Well, this was maybe the most embarrassing performance of the season. An undisciplined football team looks awful on the national stage. They get a garbage touchdown at the gun. They lose 17 to 9 to the Minnesota Vikings. And good evening, welcome to the Football After Show brought to you by St. Xavier University. Mm -hmm. That is Dave Wonset. That is Alex Brown. Your that boy. is seven-time Pro Bowler Lance Briggs. I'm see, David Kaplan. See, you, why? It's why? the truth. You didn't draw seven or I would have said it. But yeah. I'm already upset. Well, give us and a little coaching. Why you got to do this? We have two alternates. Two we alternates. have other stuff that can yeah, go up under our name. Two. Coach of the year. Thank you. Yeah. You didn't say that about give Coach. You did, you know? did you hear the enthusiasm in my voice? But you didn't say that about Coach. NFC was, Coach, NFC of, the coach year. of the Year. Thank you. Next Super time. Bowl champion. Okay, yes. Get I was rooting for the High School Player of the Year. High School Player of the Year. Which one? Can you go to Kissimmee? No, Hamilton. The county, baby, don't do that. Right. You're better than that. The population of 800. <laughs> You're better than that. Okay. Oh, Sex let's get. Minus. Before I blow my stack, let's get your thoughts. What you saw tonight? Your first impressions. Well, my first impressions. Obviously, when you're playing shorthanded like the Bears were playing because of the COVID situation and a few injuries, you got to play a clean game. And you got to win the situations. And they they didn't play a clean game because of turnovers and penalties. We mm -hmm. know that. Yep. We'll get into more of that. And by a clean game, I mean you have to you, you, you have to be efficient in the red zone. You've got to win third downs. Uh, if you go for it on fourth down, you've got to win the percentages. And they lost all those categories. So you're not going to win a football game. Pretty simple. Your first takeaway. <clears throat> Undisciplined. That's being kind. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what they were doing. I mean, it's just letting their emotions take over. Um, me over team. I saw a lot of those moments in the game where it was, <clears throat> I need to take my frustration out on this guy regardless of what like was Tevin, happening on the team. Like Tevis Gibson. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, he, yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, come on. You had got off the field. That was the most egregious one to me. Travis Gibson? Yeah. The yeah. walkover? Because you, the you worked walk so over. hard. Yeah, yeah, you worked so hard to get off the field on third down, and then he comes over you, and hits the you. Walk the, over the and down. you got to go get a lick in, man. Get your butt off the field. Now, I need to see when Tevin Jenkins got his penalty. Okay, I I wasn't no, I wasn't mad at that. I supported it. I do too. You go knock the hell out of him because from where Tevin was standing, he thought that the guy had. Hey man, cheap shot you just cheap shot at my quarterback. You there need to go right here. and look at this right here. Look at it. Where are, see if that mm. was 57 right there, that just changed that 76 to 57 Olin Cruz. I promise you, there's four other guys in that picture. Where are the other dang offensive linemen? Nowhere to be found. Where are they? Like, we're that's talking, that's a bunch that, of purple on one. That's Cody coming over, but that's the only that's, one. We and then you got a Fetty come over and he's mad at Jenkins. I'm mad at him. Correct. Like what? You get in there and fight. And you wonder what's going on, what's wrong with the team. Yes. You wonder. Okay, but bad on third down, bad on fourth down. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, three turnover, three, four turnovers. Yep. You know, it, it's very tough to win that way. I was going to talk about Tevin. You took that one from me. So I'm going to highlight Sorry. Tevin. Sorry you know what I mean? Because Sorry that was one penalty. Some penalties are worth it. That one was worth it for me. Yes. And uh, my man, Akeem Hicks, mm -hmm. that was the energy. I, he played impressively to me. He was a beast, man. Yes, he a was. Monster. He was a well, beast. We, mm -hmm. then, didn't we all agree that secondary for never being really together? Mm -hmm. I mean, I thought those guys played well, right? I yep. mean, really. They didn't give up any big plays yep. against some, some pretty good receivers. Uh, no big bust. Maybe one where they turned a guy loose there. But uh, overall, I thought the secondary played pretty good. You know? Absolutely. Yep. I thought so, too. You know, watch, Especially looking at who mm -hmm. was starting for them and who they had out there in the defensive backfield, you're like, who's that guy? Mm -hmm. Guys they called up off practice squads. Guys mm -hmm. they signed the other day. D. Virgin is active today. <clears throat> yep. I thought they battled their tail. I thought Sean Desai mm -hmm. did a pretty good job. Hey, think about it. Justin Jefferson is one of the best receivers in the NFL. They're all pros are rookie. Yes, and he... Probably, probably going to be all-pro uh, this year as well. But coming into this game, I thought he was going to be 12 receptions, 180 yards, two touchdowns. They did not allow him to get those big plays. He had the one touchdown where the corner 
It looks like he had inside leverage and he still bit for yep. an inside move and that allowed Justin Jefferson to get to that corner. And uh, Cousins threw a great ball, but man, like you, like other than that play, I thought they did pretty good. And Cap, you said it the entire time. If these kids could come out and play like this, what are they doing on our freaking what practice the hell are they, Yeah, what, who's evaluating them to put them on the actual squad? Oh, he stole my bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I gave you Thomas, credit for that. Thomas Graham is getting up in leverage, yeah. batting passes down. Yeah. He couldn't get off our practice squad, and we suck. Yeah. How, how do you not? Yeah. He's, he's there every day. Well, he's, a, he's an Oregon guy. He's a Pac-12 guy. So, you know, there's, there's a lot more fight that you have to show in order to get on that field. But the kid can mm. play. He showed it at Oregon, and he mm. showed it today. Isn't Vildor from Oregon? I don't know. Oh. I think he's a Pac-12. I thought he was from <laughs> Idaho. <laughs> I'm <mean>, reach. Vildor <laughs> was an Idaho kid. <laughs> well, I don't know. I know Vildor ain't been playing very well. No. And if there's a kid on the practice squad that played like he played today, then Vildor should have been out. Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern. Oh, mm -hmm. a Adrian Peterson. Ooh, mm -hmm. boy, you got to do better, boy. You got to get them boys right, man. <laughs> Jeez, AP, come on, A. You know, this and is I, I, and It's your AP, not the real good AP. No, 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 no. Stop that. Whoa. Stop that. Whoa. I, AP, wow. I didn't say that. Shot's fired. Uh, shot is fired. Wow, AP. Wow. I'm talking about said, a, a oh, oh, said, I didn't hold on, and a guy right who's a good bear. Hold on, wait. Don't, don't even talk to Cap right now. Right here. Um, AP. Let NCAA and Russia. Adrian Peterson won what is the Heisman in Division One AA. Okay, mm -hmm. Adrian Peterson had more rushing yards. He actually broke Jerry Azuma's record, I believe, for another most great, rushing yards. Another, great, another bear. great bear that Cap yeah. would probably throw under the bus. I love Jerry so, Azuma. So, AP, every time he got an opportunity here, he'd run for 100 yards. He just didn't get enough opportunities because he was sitting behind Thomas Jones. AP, mm. I got you, boy. I got you. Home team, I got well you. Said. Well, wow. said. well said. Well said. Cap, well said. I wasn't you being are rude. something I'm else. just being honest. You are something <laughs> else. I mean, I, wow. you know, honesty. Vikings, Adrian Peterson. That's all you had to say. Peterson. That's all you didn't say that. That's all you had to say. Hey, you know what? The, Vi the Vikings really, I mean, they're not a playoff team. For the, no. ta the talent, I mean, and we talk about all the mistakes Their quarterback's we made. lousy. I mean, yes, for the yes. talent that that football team has across the board, I mean, mm. they, in my opinion, they, it's disappointing. You it have to be speaking is. about offensively, though, right, Coach? Oh, yeah. Because their yeah. defense is, yeah. their yeah. bottom, their bottom third on both against the run and against the pass. So yeah, they're, they're not very good. And one and 29th in the other. Yeah, they're not very good yeah. against either, you know. So um, they have to have that explosive yeah. offense to win ball games. And they I, have to. And I was thinking, we're talking mistakes. Would we uh, mishandle that one punt, yep. right, when, yep. when uh, Bird was back there? Mm -hmm. And that gave uh, the Vikings some easy points mm -hmm. off yep. of it, you know. So uh, defensively, I mean, we could have held those guys under 17 points. Yes. Oh, for four, their first four trips in the red zone. Got nothing. Oh. Mm -hmm. 0 for 4, red zone, four turnovers by the Bears offense, uh, a botched punt, and the defense only gave up 17. I thought the defense Don't did a hell of a job. Don't forget the penalties. Don't forget the penalties. And, yeah. and, and the penalties, yeah, but the, I thought the defense fall. did. Like, coming in on those sudden change situations, this is what I've been wanting all year. When you have these certain situations where you got to get off the field, and they came in and they stopped them, three and out. They go and... Hey, you don't get to choose where you take the field at as a defense. No doubt. But wherever you take the field, you have to defend it, defend every blade of grass. You have to. Everyone. I thought they did that tonight. Well, Lance made the point at halftime. Give Lance a little love here. Let, <laughs> no. Give you a chance to talk here, Lance. Uh, no, at halftime. At halftime, Lance said, you know what? If two out of the first three times the Bears had the ball, yep. they turned it over. Mm -hmm. And the score, was, whatever it was at halftime, it could have been, you said, a lot ugly, right? Yeah, I mean, it it been been. Been. They're lucky that the score was, it was what it was. It was 10 to 3. Mm -hmm. They're lucky the score was what it was, giving up those, those, uh, those turnovers, you know, mm -hmm. in that first half. Was it luck or was the defense, <laughs> right? The defense was playing really well, right? It was, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's obviously, you can, you can go either way. And yeah. the football guys were, were overseeing the, <laughs> yeah. seeing the place. <laughs> so, look, Justin wasn't very good tonight. Mm -hmm. He had the fumble early. He just wasn't very good. Uh, he had the one play on fourth down where he turned to hand it off. It's Mooney in the backfield. Mm -hmm. Because David Montgomery had an equipment malfunction, so he's off the field. And then he had Mooney open, who went out in the flat, and he missed. Justin wasn't very good. I still think he could be a really good quarterback. Do you? 
Yeah, I, I do. I, I think they need to make up their mind what they want to do with them and then just do it and do it. Start in mini camp and do it in training camp and do it in the preseason. And then he'll 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 take a step to another level. And he has. If you look at his numbers, I was looking at him today. Completion percentages, interceptions, the touchdowns, uh, rushing yards, pretty much everything from the first game that he played until coming into today. There's been not huge steps, maybe, but, but little steps, little steps, little steps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you watch that game tonight, okay, the offense was terrible, terrible. The fact that we keep getting unnecessary roughness penalties, that at some point that blows back on the coach. I know you guys are going to go, well, that's on the player for doing it. It's on the coach for tolerating it. Agreed. Yes. If you keep putting you out there and you keep – doing stuff that's going to hurt the football team. You keep putting me first as opposed to the team first, and coach continues to put you out there, yeah, it falls on the coach then. Um, the player should know, but apparently you don't. So you I'm know, not – you come stand by me until you figure this out. Cap, there's, a, there's an example of an, uh, a, a ridiculous, unnecessary uh, roughness penalty mm -hmm. uh, or, or one of those penalties mm -hmm. every, almost every week. You know, there's an example for you to put up in front of the team of somebody doing something they're not supposed to almost yep. every week. Every one of those players knows better. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the Tevis Gibson walking over, giving the eye gouge, whatever he did over there, and then walking away and slapping his, his teammate like that is uh, it's, it's, it's bigger than just unacceptable. You know, that's the kind of stuff where, you know, I mean, I, we're gonna, I, I, need to, I need to have a talk with you on the sideline. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to have a scuffle on the sideline because you're risking it all, you know what I mean, for, and for what? Yeah, not that these guys got the an answer, but, you know, you, I, I always say, okay, would you see a New England Patriots team doing that, right? No. Mm -hmm. Would you see a no. Tampa Bay <clears throat> Buck team no. doing that? No, because there's consequences. Brady, right? I mean, there's consequences, Brady, right? Yeah. Now, I mean, just think like, about... It's not just this year. I don't. Want, I don't want us to think like it's just this year. Like you, we're talking. We Anthony go back. Miller, Javon Anthony Wims Miller, last year. Javon, Javon on Wims. They're gone. Okay. Okay. They're gone. Maybe it was just them. Okay. Now we're still seeing the same stuff. Now this right here go to somebody else. It can't just be them. They're they're being allowed to do this stuff because there isn't a consequence. Like where is the consequence for doing that? I actually like that Matt got a flag that he stood up for his guys I don't know where that's been but I like mm -hmm. that he got after the officials there were some horrific calls tonight there was yeah, yeah. there were there were the Dion Bush call brutal the Kendall Vildor call I think it was Vildor who dove past the lineman mm -hmm. tripped up Dalvin Cook and they <clears throat> nail him for a chop block mm -hmm. really it's interesting man what, what, like how how you have to coach nowadays I'm I, I feel for a lot of the coaches you know because you know, when we were coming up, it was just, you know, you, you play this game at 100 miles an hour, yep. you know, and, and you react on, on the way. You react, <coughs> you read, and you react. Um, and you're, you're trying to make these plays. And a lot of times, you know, sometimes you got to go through blockers to get to the, to the ball carrier. You know, a lot of times they say, hey, you know what I mean, you're supposed to force that play in. But if you can force the play and get in through the play, uh, get in and make the tackle, you know, that's, that's mm -hmm. being a playmaker. You know, and so when you see somebody on the field that's being a playmaker and they're getting flagged for it, 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 it it's really disheartening, you know what I mean, because you're taking so much away from this yeah, game. You know, it's a little bit off script, but just uh, piggybacking off what we're talking here. Uh, I did a show last week with uh, Vaughn Miller, you know, out there in L.A. with the Rams. Yeah. And I asked him, we were talking, at, and I says, what are you doing different now? Because he played back in a day when you got, you know, he's been around yeah. you know, when, when it was live on the quarterback mm -hmm. as compared to what we're talking now. Yep. And he said, you know, I don't change it. I haven't changed <clears throat> my techniques off the line or any of the stuff that I do there, which, you know, he says, but the minute I start getting near the quarterback, all I'm thinking about now is get the ball, get the ball, mm -hmm. get the ball. I'm really not thinking like I Hit used him. to right. of hitting him mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. knocking him out of the game. Yep. It's the ball, the ball, and and I'm hoping that that, you know, does obviously you're not uh, that he won't get penalized. That he won't get penalized for that. But that's that's his thinking, and that's you know one of the, the better yeah. rushers in the league. The game, the game definitely the changes. Famer. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. He, he's a Hall of Famer. He's one of the great passers in the last decade or so. But the game has changed a lot. But you see the most egregious play in the game when they kick Kendricks out for hitting Justin Fields in the head. Right. Yep. 
And everybody will agree that that was a, a horrible play. But Godwin for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the alternative to going hitting somebody up here is hitting them in the knee. And he got hit in the knee. Well, yesterday. Justin Blue Fields got ACL. up and he's still playing. Right. Godwin tore his ACL because that is what it's you're legal. telling players to do is hit them in the knee then. Because if Bush is going to get a penalty for what happened for what he did, now I'm going to hit the guy in the knee next time because he barely touched the guy in the helmet. And it, the, the, the rule is excessive force to the head or neck area. That wasn't excessive force to the head or neck area. I almost think so, he got him up here, right, not, not in the right. head. Right, I mean, the helmet's touched. But when you slow it down and all you're looking for is if the helmet touches, well, that's dumb. Like, if we weren't going to, if your head, if you weren't going to get hit in the head, we wouldn't wear helmets. Like, you, you, it'll, your helmet can touch, but that play was horrible for me as far as, and then the NFL comes out and says they, they backed the play. They said that it was a good, right, they it was went a good call. Twitter, That's the awful. Call. That's awful. It, it was a bad call, but just look at both situations. The one with Justin Fields that everybody was looking at, like, wow, I can't believe he hit him in the head. That kid gets kicked out of the game, Kendricks. And then you look at, the receiver that got hit in the knee because the defender don't want to go up top. Now you lose a Pro Bowl type talent in the in this NFL. Okay, if you're George McCaskey and you are sitting in that skybox tonight and you see everything you saw, undisciplined play, lousy offense, turnovers, failure to execute in the red zone. Mm, mm, mm. If you've got any pride about the organization, this guy worked hard for you, Matt Nagy. Put him out of his misery and move on. It wow. has gotten to the point where we are a national embarrassment. G gotten? You, tonight? No, no. Oh. We lose regionally every week oh. when you play on national TV. <laughs> every time we play. A national embarrassment. Every time we play on national TV, we get our butt whooped. Mm -hmm. like, like, you had to patrol the sideline. You went through all this. At mm -hmm. some point, though, what is the owner watching up there? Well, we always said owners don't know if we're blocking people or if we're in the right run gaps, but they're smart and they can add numbers and they can add on that sheet at the end. So, <laughs> all, you know, the penalties and all those things mm -hmm. add up. They see that stuff. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think you got to – if I'm the owner, I'm, I'm looking – and the focus this year has been on the offense and been on Justin Fields. And uh, are you seeing enough improvement there, you know, on offense to, to be excited about moving forward? I think that's the decision that they have to make. And, um, you but know, from your experience, don't you feel like that, that, the stuff that happens on the penalties and all that crazy stuff, that doesn't give you a, a chance, you know, to mm -hmm. really show what you're trying to do. Don't you feel like an owner already knows? I know there's three more games after this one. Oh, yeah. Ended. Yeah, I think he does. He already knows what he wants yeah, absolutely. to do. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why I would not be shocked if he got let go tomorrow because you can interview week 17 and 18. We're going to week 16. Mm -hmm. When do you line this stuff up? Well, you got to have a plan before you do that now. I mean, you, well, they you, better have been meeting just, that's already. Like, I used to always say, oh, yeah, you want to get rid of that player? Go ahead. Now, who's going to take his place? What's your plan? What's our plan? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's, it's easy to get frustrated and say, get rid of the guy. But, but right. what's the plan to replace him? I don't know if the Bears have a plan right now. You know what I mean? I mean, so mm -hmm. it, it's uh, – it's Might be better off to tell him, hey, coach him up. You know what I mean? We, we just got to coach him up right Can't. now. No? At Can't some it. point, it's over. I heard. It's over. He doesn't even look healthy to me. He looks like he's got the weight of the world. You think the Bears are ready to go out and interview another coach? Yes. You really do think do. they're ready to? And who's going to do that? I think the people doing the interview are incompetent. Who's who's going? Well, who's going to do it? They're, I mean, <laughs> they want to get rid of everybody. Yeah. And coach, Alex, I'll do it. Alex, will coach, do it. I'll do it. And now we don't want Dan Mullen. I'll do it. No, no, I ain't gonna break. No, I ain't break Dan Mullen. That's my but. point. That's my point. <laughs> You, you, you want to get rid of this guy, and you want to get rid of this guy. But I'm going to talk to Dan Mullen, just saying. I'm going to talk to him. Hey, I'm talking to decision. everybody. Someone's got to well, make a decision it. that we're going to go talk to. Well, that's to the concern. You may be here now. That if you did decide, okay. Because no one's going to get hired in the next two weeks. But you're going to interview. You could. Who's going to interview? That's my, I keep coming back to that. 
You're looking at Ted, you're looking at Ryan Pace, you're looking at George. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. And right. which guy's going to do it? Which, guy, going which on. guy up there is going to do that well, hiring Ryan, again? <laughs> what I'm saying is if Ryan's not the GM. Oh, so you clean it out. If you got to tell him how far it's going up with you. If they start doing that and they start interviewing with Ryan, that, that's an indication that he's going to stay. So oh, there's a lot going on. Right. There's a lot going like, on. I thought that, Olin that you, had a great point. People that thought we need a quarterback was the biggest problem mm -hmm. are sadly mistaken. Mm -hmm. That's just a, a spoke in the wheel. And if they're going to get the some, clowns up top, that's what's got to get. If, if they're mm. going to get somebody to oversee mm. everything, okay, except for the ownership, right, so then so. they can do that right now without getting rid of the coach. You can go out and interview a guy, whoever he is, to, to run your whole football thing, and and you know then let him zero in on the coach. You know that's the way I would do it. If that's the if that's the plan, go get a president. Heck yeah, that's your, <coughs> that's your first move. Don't do it reverse. All you're going to do is get into speculation, and mm -hmm. it's, it's you know I don't know. That's just my opinion. So you got a plan, huh? I got a plan. Okay, coach. all right. By the way, right. do you realize that the Might White need Sox? To call coach. Right. This is December nice what? Office. What's today's date? December, December 20th. 20th. Do you realize the White Sox have won in the city of Chicago more recently than the Bears? No. Yes. No, we just beat. That's a fact. Oh, in Chicago. You always put these little things on the side of it. Like, you okay, got to pay fine. attention to detail. Yeah, I guess detail. so. Detail. I miss The White Sox bad. won on the <laughs> night right. of October 10th. The Bears won that afternoon. You, or the third. Sorry. In Chicago. Third. In Chicago. Okay, yeah. The last Bears win, what have they lost? Eight of nine? They well, won at Detroit. What were the Bulls tell us? Figures lying, liars figures. Thank you. You can find any figure to meet whatever lie you want. Yeah, buddy. Whatever you want to say, you can find you anything can find to meet that. it. If you yep. put these little, these little uh -huh. like, conditions on. It's just on a fact. It. I mean, yeah, and then it becomes a fact. It so, becomes yeah. a fact. Okay. Yeah. It's Alternative it's, facts. It's, you know, we talk about all these uh, situations that we struggled at today and, and have, you know, a lot going <laughs> the year. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you're hired because you're an offensive guy. You're hired because... Obviously, quarterbacks, game plan, and all that stuff. We know the game plan and how that's the back and forth fiasco. But now you're going to be evaluated on how did our offense do. You know, the owners might forget about those penalties, and they're going to forget about the red zone, and they're going to forget about third down if they even get into that. Mm -hmm. But they will look at the numbers and say, where are we at offensively mm -hmm. scoring points compared to the rest of the league? And today didn't help that, you know? No. Oh. Today did not help that. No, the last three years hadn't helped that, Coach. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. We've been, yeah, we've been saying. really bad. Yeah. So we're, we're probably at the bottom of the league mm -hmm. if we're not last in scoring. Yeah, we're, we're really bad. Offensively, like, I thought that we'd move the ball, just like we have been all year. Move the ball in but between the 20s. It also but goes back score. to he was so stubborn about calling the plays. Mm -hmm. And this man right here said that Jimmy Johnson said to you, you're a head coach now. That's your defensive coordinator. His job is to keep them from scoring as many damn points as possible. That's your OC. His job is to score as many points. And you be the CEO of your football team. That's Isn't right. that what he said? That's exactly what he said. Yep, that's, 100%. And uh, that's why you hire offensive coordinators. They'll go for it every time if you let them. Correct. That's their mm -hmm. job. Try to score. They don't care about the defense. I mean, they, they really, they don't. Most and of the they guys. can buy you some more time because you start doing bad, hey. You yeah, gotta, you gotta, gotta let go. somebody. Work well for him. <laughs> wow! Oh my God, man! He watches. This he was show. a short thing. He was a short thing. Stop! He watches this show. Can he was a short thing.